little update to the servo control system for Model Rail has been working on. Got some new features in there now. Press select start, select servo, so get up and down. But if you press and hold, it will fast scroll through the numbers so you can get, get to your selected one a bit quicker. Start off with zero, do a setup on this first one. Got some new types, it's got point, semaphore signals, sweep, so something like gates or level crossings, and on and off, which is zero volts or five volts, so you could control something like a MOSFET if you needed to toggle some higher voltage stuff. Start off with points. Do your normal jog, but you can push and hold now. If you want to sweep a bit quicker. I'll see if your limits are correct. Now you can check the switch with all options. So you can check your limits are correct. Yep. That's if you just want to swap the direction of the, the travel with the switch. Got speeds now. And again, all of these can be tested. Change the menu option. And you'll be able to check the speed. Once it's complete, I'll see if you want to set up another. If you say yes, it auto go increments to the next servo from the one you've just done. Do a semaphore signal this time. Centers. Use the jog to put some travel. Check if your limits are correct. Ooh, one. This has got some extra features for semaphores so you can simulate the drop bounce. Toggle that yes or no for on or off. And you've got a hesitate pull up as well. Is that yes? And if you want to change another one again, I've only got two on this at the moment. And no. And then we're back to running and all the settings have been saved. Just doing a bit of code refactoring and tidying up and trying to write some documentation and probably come up with an instructional video or something and then uh, put this up on GitHub so uh, people can have a go at making their own. That's all for now.